we do not take the place of Israel. Some of the modern heresies that are being preached today, though, are the Hebrew Roots Movement, Manifest Sons of God, and the Emergent Church. All of these movements deny the finished work of Christ. They all are focused on this earth and this kingdom, and we are preparing for the coming. They are preparing. All of them are preparing for the coming of the Antichrist. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense because in dispensational theology, they have plan A, which is the physical kingdom for Israel, which they say has been postponed because now, it, so while it's being postponed, there's a plan B, which is the church, which ends at the rapture then the 70th future 70th week starts that they made up and that it goes back to that plan and and that's a physical kingdom and so he's saying that they uh, they want to have a physical kingdom when they should be um, in the plan B which is a spiritual kingdom and so therefore that they're, in other words, that they're in the wrong plan. So they're going to be part of his kingdom. Make no mistake about it. In John chapter number 18, verse number 36. Turn there with me tonight. John 18, 36. We read these words, John 18, 36. Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants do what? There goes your pacifism right there. My servants would fight. So I don't understand why pacifism would go away because Jesus is saying, My kingdom is not of this world, therefore my servants are not fighting. So Jesus is advocating pacifism. And this also, when Jesus said that my kingdom is not of this world, a dispensationalists say that Jesus came to offer a physical kingdom of the world that was on this world. So, it, so, you know, what can you do there? So they're saying one thing, the Lord Jesus Christ says another, and and. So Jesus Christ will establish the millennial kingdom on the second coming on the last day. But not, uh, there is no, uh, and those will be for the people that were born again. There's not two separate plans. that I should not be delivered to the Jews, but now is my kingdom not from hence. Now turn to Luke 22, verse 36. Luke chapter number 22 and verse number 36. To help you continue in the context of fight what he's talking about. Luke chapter number 22 and verse number 36. Here's what he says. Then said he unto them, But now he that hath a purse, let him take it, and likewise his script, and he that hath no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. For I say unto you that this that is written must yet be accomplished in me. And he was reckoned among the transgressors. For the things concerning me have an end. Watch verse 38. And they said, Lord, behold, here are two swords. And he said unto them, It is enough. Now what does that mean? <coughs> to the one who said, If they smite you on one cheek, turn the other in the Sermon on the Mount. Remember that? Remember that you are a dispensationalist. If you, if you have, if you, if you in your own study of the Bible 
understand that God now is not preaching the kingdom gospel to the Jews. We are not preaching the Sermon on the Mount. We are preaching the gospel of the grace of God. Thinking about it now doesn't, maybe that's not a hundred percent accurate. Um, maybe that's not what he meant. Uh, he was just saying that they're they that they're in a different dispensation. They're now. taking Christ and they're going to nail him on a cross. He says to his disciples, "Get ready for the future. Get you a sword. You will need it." That's what this is about. He's preparing them for the coming time, which will be soon, when He is not with them, and that they will be forced to defend their families and defend themselves if necessary. That's exactly what He's talking about. You could take a thousand Christians, 10,000 out of the average liberal denominations in America, they don't even know that's in there, and then ask out of them, ask them to give you an interpretation of what Christ is talking about. I read some of the commentary today on that scripture. Here's what most of them say. That's not literal. That's a tough one to say it's not literal. So he says plainly to them, go buy a sword. They come back and say, Master, we have two. He said, that's enough. Does that sound literal to you? Kind of, I think it's kind of like in the same sense when Jesus said, oh, go go get this the donkey that's over here. So, you know, he was fulfilling the scriptures because he was going to ride into Jerusalem on, on a donkey. I think this is a similar um, thing that's going on to fulfill scriptures that they got two swords. And then there's part B which says I, I, I don't know. Okay. Um, I'm born in. I'm adopted in. Into the family to the nation of Israel. Okay, I'm a fellow citizen with the nation of Israel there. All right. They don't lose it. If I was Jewish and I got saved, I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, I would not lose that covenant that God made to Abraham and to Isaac and you know Jacob and all that. So since he's teaching dispensational theology, he's saying there's one program for uh, Israel and another program the plan B, which is the church, and that if a, a, someone who is Jewish gets saved, that they are part of the church, but they still get the benefits of, of this plan as well. But there is not two plans. I'm through. I wouldn't lose that covenant. You still retain that. Let me show you a verse of Scripture. You're so saying me. that uh, racial Israelites have special blessings that are outside that the church, that are not that are outside of the, the church scope. New Testament to kind of illustrate what I'm talking about. Now, what what these replacement theology... And then he's saying, I knew was, that was coming. Cause, and then if you don't believe that, that the racial Israelites have these special privileges, he's going to say, you're a replacement theologian, which is a false accusation, and you hate Jews, in other words. Theology heretics will do. They'll go down here. Romans chapter 2 verse 28 and they'll say for he is not a Jew which is one outwardly neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh but he is a Jew which is one inwardly and circumcision is that of the heart in, in the spirit and not in the letter whose praise is not of men but of God and these heretics these replacement theology people will say see so physical Jews are no more okay so that's a misrepresentation um, since I believe in the New Covenant, and um, I'll answer that. It doesn't say that, that doesn't mean that there's no such thing as a racial Israelite. It just means, according to God, that those who are racial Israelites are not considered Israelites to God. But we can, like it in a, to just to speak or to, we identify people by race, but that's not in the spiritual context.
see there's two concepts there in the Bible there's the the physical the outward someone who is outwardly a Jew and then an inwardly a Jew but they won't read they won't continue reading 